Crypto DLT with Mr. Connector. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell for daily content. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Mr. Connector again. Hope you're doing great on this Tuesday, March the 5th, 2024. Let's get straight into some BRICS news. We have at BRICS Info posting that Russia officially drafts plans to create a digital BRICS payment platform to counter the U.S. dollar. Yeah, folks, these countries are tired of using the dollar between themselves. You know, when you've got countries like... When you've got two different countries, not including America, why are they using the dollar to settle their trade? Can't they just use their own currencies? Why does the dollar have that grip on the world? Well, things are changing, it looks like. Let's see what Chad Steinbrenner says. He says BRICS plus Ripple payments and Tranglo. XRP is already connected through the new BRICS plus payments payment settlement system by the means of other payment partners here tranglo uses xrp directly and connects with uae's ai and sorry exchange ripple partner tranglo collaborates with the uae's largest forex we have the BRICS countries ready to settle using digital currencies and what are all these digital currencies? You've got all these public chains that are out there. You have a lot of great utility coins. You have a slew of meme coins that don't really do anything besides speculation. I mean, you've got Theta up 29%. That's got that's a utility. You've got, uh, it looks like, is that eCash there? 48% up. That's a utility coin. Luna Classic, wow, uh, you know what happened with Luna. Shib, Bonk, I just don't get these car two coins. That's one through 100 on the day. Uh, 100 through 200, look at FTT, that's up 20%. What kind of crazy market are we living in? Luna, 65%. None of this makes sense, guys. If you're like me, you're just kind of looking at this craziness, seeing all the masses going into these non-utility coins, thinking, when's it going to be our time? When is utility actually going to kick in? Well, on Mr. Connector's portfolio, they're all utility coins. And I'm not talking Ethereum either. Yes, Ethereum does have utility. And it has had help from the him and free pass speech, or should I say quasi free pass speech. But if you're like me, you've used Ethereum, you've used Bitcoin, it is not a great coin to actually use. These are quality utility coins that don't take money for mining. I don't feel like mining coins is necessary just to process a transaction. I mean, look at this mess. Bitcoin miners need to be proactive to hold their positions after having. Look at this mess. Look at all the raw materials that are put into mining operations. I mean, look at this. You got these walls of mining machines. Look at this guy here. He's proud of all this. I know he's a smart guy and he's figured all this out. How to make a little money with Bitcoin. That's pretty cool. To me, that's just old tech. We're ready to move to the future. We're ready to swap value in seconds for no cost or low cost. We want the real utility coins. Look at this Bitcoin energy consumption index. 142 estimated terawatt hours per year. And we've got the annualized total Bitcoin footprints, uh, the carbon footprint, electrical energy, electronic waste, fresh water consumption, a single Bitcoin transaction footprint, 585 kilograms of CO2 per transaction, 1,050 kilowatt hours of electrical energy per transaction, 202 grams of electronic waste, and 6,543 liters of fresh water consumption per Bitcoin transaction. I mean, what are we doing here? Why are they pushing this thing? Why did it get a free pass? Why don't we know who created it? Look at this chart. we got Bitcoin in the middle and these countries beside it on energy consumption. Bitcoin pulls more energy than Ukraine, Sweden, and Argentina individually. That's wild. Come on, guys. How can you invest in this thing? I just, 
I don't know. I'm just ranting. I mean, all these coins on my list, probably every one of them, what is there, about 20 or so, probably add it all together in a day takes less energy than one Bitcoin transaction. Just guessing, but that's probably pretty close. Look at this. We've got that XRP ledger, the first DEX. Can Bitcoin do this? Can you swap out for all these other coins on Bitcoin? No, you can't. It doesn't have a DEX. On the XRP ledger right now, the top trading coins are Solo, Corium, and the USD version issued by GateHub. And also Casino Coin in fourth place. They just announced they're going to be running on multiple blockchains. Look at this one, the Stellar Ledger. XLM. How many assets run on Stellar? 186,000 assets run on Stellar. Now, a lot of them are scam coins because it is an open, decentralized network. You need to know who the issuer is for each coin. You got to be careful out there, guys. Look at Afrium in seventh place, up 28% today. Let's go, let's go. Also, good utility coins, Hedera. And the native coin is HBAR that runs on Hedera with all these other coins you can trade against it. I'm keeping my eye on HSuite and their smart node technology. I saw an interview with those guys though yesterday and it was a, it was a little off-putting. It was a little weird to be honest. One of the founder, one of the main guys was wearing a VR headset and you couldn't see it from his nose up to his eyes. And the other guy, it was blacked out. You could not see him at all. And that first that kind of scares me away. They don't want to put their face out there, but I can totally understand though, after thinking about it for a little while, you know, they could be under an NDA. The world's a scary place right now until we get this decentralized identity taken care of where we can prove what's what, who's who. I can totally understand how some people wouldn't want their identity out there, especially involved in a up and coming project and you've got secrets to hold on to. And while we're on the topic of secrets, we have here DAI reposting from Ashley Prosper. Uh, Ashley submitted the freedom of information request to the SEC and only got back a few of the documents she requested. You know, as citizens in the United States, our government works for us. Everything they do as far as communications and we hear the stories of them using an encrypted messaging software. What is that? How, how are they not in trouble for using encrypted software messaging between each other? And DAI, why on earth would JP Morgan be communicating with the SEC about Ripple or XRP? That was the key words that Ashley Prosper requested on her FOIA request, Ripple and XRP in any document between the SEC and JP Morgan. So you've got a government entity, SEC, and a private bank chatting about another private crypto. Why is that even a discussion? They're not even linked together. I'm sure you can imagine though. And here we've got Jack Straw posting, something does not seem right. One, Friday, the White House, unprompted, says the banking system is sound and resilient. Two, Monday, Bitcoin smashing 66K and gold at all-time highs over $2,100. And even since then, it's, it's almost hit its all-time high again yesterday. Both assets considered hedges against systemic risk. Banking crisis 2 going to break out? And we mentioned earlier about all the utility coins have been building this whole time. Here's Algorand, and I think it's Tony from at Thinking Crypto interviewing her. Yep. Larry Fink is saying, we believe the next step going forward will be the tokenization of financial assets. What is your outlook for the tokenization? Are you expecting that to ramp up now that the institutions are paying attention and realize this is the future? She says 100%. It's not so about the technology being ready. It's about the money piece. I would say the thing about tokenization is that you really want to have happen. You want to be in an atomic swap with money. Now, if there were central bank digital currencies, 
in an atomic swap could happen no problem at all if there are stable coins though there's always going to be this kind of question about at the time of your swap is that stable coin going to be worth the fiat that it's pegged to or not there will be always be a little bit of that question so it's a little trickier to do but we are pretty excited about the idea of digital money digital euros not a stable coin but digital money on the blockchain with Quantos, for example has a digital euro we are expecting some big news out of that space for sure all right so that's pretty interesting algo is completely behind the central bank digital currency narrative and is kind of questioning the stable coins uh america has always had public sector money and private sector money and that's going to be no different moving forward i don't know what to think about her dissing stable coins like that with a digital bill of rights we can choose the best stable coins it's going to be an open free market and a lot of these people close to government they hate free markets they like to control everything and not let us have free markets so we can see what side algorands on that's for sure and if you miss this you have to go check out xrp bags and the extra bullish hour this past sunday they had a really good interview with steven narioff he's blowing the Ethgate story wide open if you don't know about him go check out his x page he was one of the original ethereum guys and he started noticing some corruption going on and he and he actually gave back his ethereum he didn't want any part of it and got to give him credit for that uh check out this little piece from that show for those people it's kind of like at this point i'm glad that they stay silent because it's going to be so clear who was complicit in not, uh, you know, uh, ec- you know, amplifying this news and bringing it out to the public, right? So, the, you know, who was bought and paid for? Uh, so, it, what, but the vastness of this is, you're, you're really talking about like kind of three distinct corruptions, cover-ups, however you want to look at it, right? Each one of those are unprecedented in scope, size, depth, um magnitude and like historically just look Mm. at my prosecution Mm. right so that entire thing was fully fabricated we actually found the documents the sec led the prosecution that's a civil division so it's not allowed to lead a criminal prosecution uh with the doj and the fbi we found the documentation that they were prosecuting me on on the FBI's doc and their documents that they actually fabricated it. So, because when they showed wow. it to me, I'm like, I don't, I've never seen those documents. Those are not my documents. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. And so the corruption runs deep guys. If you saw my video yesterday, I mentioned about the judge in the Coinbase case, making a default judgment yesterday, SEC told a judge that she should consider a decision from another court without disclosing that the decision was a default judgment, meaning no one showed up to defend itself and thus a relevant legal issue was never actually litigated. That's bad faith. Yeah, we mentioned yesterday they're trying to have all these little wins in court and use them as precedent. And the main lawyer from Ripple, Stuart Alderati, says that that's just bad faith want to touch on a little holo chain news from holo informer holo launch 2024 quarter two with the launch of holo fuel the microtransaction mutual credit currency designed for holo hosting network will become fully functional this will mark the beginning of its use for payments within the holo hosting network Yep, Holochain's been building this entire time, and we talked yesterday about one of the new big crypto sectors is DPIN, Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. Holochain is a DPIN project because they have that phys- the physical device that you connect and host, the, host all the dApps with in their system. 
And here we have from BlockWorks, the SEC delays BlackRock Ether ETF proposal again. So they're having problems getting Ethereum through the door, it looks like. Looks like Bill Hemmings' quasi-free pass speech isn't quite enough to get Ethereum through as a non-security. And we talked about yesterday how Prometheum is going to be listing Ethereum as their first digital asset security. And we touched on the BRICS news earlier about them working on a digital currency to settle in. Here's a little article from a magazine by Cointelegraph. Digital Yuan multi-chain bridge to launch this year. China's digital yuan central bank digital currency will include a novel multi-chain bridge in 2023. They're not going to be siloed off. You got to be able to get in and out of China's currency as well to other currencies. According to local news reports on February 28th, the tool dubbed M-Bridge will allow the digital yuan to be swapped for other CBDCs in cross-border trade between China, Hong Kong, and foreign countries. In addition, Paul Chan Mopo, the financial secretary of Hong Kong, said that local residents will be able to expand their use of China's digital wallets for tasks such as shopping for tourism expenses within China. Goes on to say that China reached a $400 million deal with the UAE to allow the exchange of the country's CBDC during bilateral trade. In 23 July, Chinese President Xi Jinping specifically addressed the need for the countries friendly with China to expand local currency settlements for mutual trade. People talk about how China is trying to become the world's reserve currency. Uh, That's just not the case, really. Their currency is closed off. China doesn't want to export its currency. It wants to keep it local. That's what the bridge system does. You've got a digital bridge currency that sits in between each of the countries. And we're hoping that it uses a public blockchain that's already been trialed and tested. Sounds like the XRP ledger to me, folks. Here's one uh, from the crypto slate. Bitcoin sees the return of the kimchi premium in South Korea and CME futures markets. So if you didn't know, South Korea has a premium on its crypto. They're paying more over there. You know, they're not paying in dollars, but they're paying more compared to dollars than we are. And here's just outline how much more they're paying. But my point on this is why are they factoring these prices into the main Bitcoin price? Back when XRP was running up, the kimchi premium was high on it. Coin market cap stopped factoring in those prices. Are they doing that for Bitcoin and here Ethereum as well? Here from the block, SEC Commissioner Hester Peirce slams regulator unproductive approach to overseeing crypto. The Securities and Exchange Commission's Hector Peirce slammed the regulator's approach to overseeing cryptocurrency, calling parts of its stance unproductive and pointless. Peirce, a Republican commissioner at the SEC nicknamed nicknamed Crypto Mom for her supportive stance on crypto, spoke out Thursday at ETH Denver. Now, why is she at an Ethereum conference? Why is Ethereum getting all this government support, guys? Let's touch on precious metals real quick. We've got gold at $2,128 today. Silver is trying to push over that $24 an ounce mark. Nickel's up 4.6%. Just a little cut. Commodities price, just some commodities prices I like to keep an eye on every day. And back to the Mr. Connector coins. In first place today, up 17% almost, Metal Dow token. And speaking of that ecosystem, the Metallica system, I wanted to show you guys about OTC trading. I saw, I think it was on X yesterday, I think Caitlin Long posted how... Kraken was running out of Bitcoin over the counter. So for those that don't know, over the counter OTC, this is a private trade between two individuals. Over the counter transactions and the prices that they're traded for are not calculated into public prices. So this is uh, one big way to manipulate the market that they do. They'll go on these private over the counter trading desks purchase their coins and then sell them on the open market to 
drive the price down so they can purchase more on the OTC market at cheaper prices and rinse and repeat. I'm not saying this is a horrible thing. Uh, uh, it's very cool. This is freedom. You can trade with people you know, you know, just the same as people you don't know on the OTC desks. It's just like sending money to a friend back and forth. Um, you know, this is just swapping out cryptos. But Metallica's has a nice OTC desk. Here they've got it where you can send any token on their chain and receive any token. What you do is you make a proposal and it's got a time limit. You can do a minute, day, or hour. And you can pretty much... It's like posting your trade that you want to happen on a board and people can go through and look at that proposal and they can accept it if they want. I just thought I'd show you guys this OT de OTC desk real quick. Pretty cool. If you guys got anything to add to the show today, hit me up in the comments. I'm going to keep my eye on this ever-changing space and try to keep you guys up to date the best I can. If you could, like and subscribe and... I'll see you on the next one, guys. Mr. Connector out.